Okay, today I'm sighting in a uh, 300 Weatherby Magnum again. I moved my scope back because I was uh, getting uh, the feeling that the scope was too far forward after they mounted it at the shop. So I moved it back about an inch so that when I uh, put the rifle up to the shoulder and cheek on the uh, comb, I pretty much have a full sight picture. So that's where a rifle should be mounted. The uh, downside is the scope is one one hundredth of an inch off the top of the uh, number two t contour barrel on this puppy. 26 inch number two contour barrel. And <clears throat> hopefully uh, it's not too close to the barrel for the scope to receive any shock. We'll find out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, be shooting down here at 100 yards. I'm hoping the scope is pretty much bore sighted, even though I moved it back in the rings. And our target is going to be the very bottom of the huge orange circle there, where the black perpendicular mark is. So I'm going to shoot at that bottom semicircle and we'll find out where it hits and then adjust the scope from there. Okay, so shot number one. We're doing pretty good actually for not actually boresight and just hoping the scope would still be halfway aligned. Shot number one looks like it uh, hit half inch high and one, two, three, and three quarter inches left. So now I'm pretty much just going to adjust it uh, three and a half minutes right, three and a half, three and a quarter, or three and three quarter minutes to the right, and we'll see where we hit after that. Okay, so I just adjusted 15 clicks right, which is a quarter of an inch per click at 100 yards. So we'll see what happens here after I just let the barrel cool for a minute or two and we'll see what happens here on uh, shot number two. Okay, shot number two. A little higher. Looks like about three quarter inches higher. Still about a third of an inch left. I like the uh, height. I might even raise it up a little because at 200 yards I want to uh, want to hit about two and a half inches high. I mean it, at 100 yards I want to hit about two and a half inches high. I'm uh, going to have to look at my notes but so far so good. We'll uh, adjust the scope a little more here and then we'll get ready for round number three. Okay, after uh, checking my notes, Weatherby Ballistics say if you want to zero at 300 yards with this 165 grain Spire Point ammunition, which is factory ammo, you need to be set at about 2.8 inches high at 100 yards. And before I had myself set up about an inch and a half high, so I'm going to go for two and a half inches high uh, at 100 yards here. Um, it'll probably carry on out to 200 yards about three and a half inches high. So I don't want it quite 2.8 high at 100 yards. I want it a little less than that. So I'm going to go for 2.5 inches high at 100 yards which means I need to come up about an inch and a quarter from what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to raise the scope an inch and a quarter, move it right one more click and we'll see if we can get on the uh, perpendicular line somewhere there and then we'll take our shot. Well here we go again. Uh, results don't match adjustments. Looks like I either generated a flyer because I flinched or 
one of my prior rounds I flinched and I uh, shot low who knows so now it's a matter of uh, trying to squeeze off a couple consistent shots to figure out what part of the ballpark we're actually hitting in so time to uh, time to do a two or three round group before we futz around anymore with a scope okay shot number four I uh, took a little practice with dry firing and then it felt like I squeezed it off right and uh, it's still up there a little ways so apparently I pulled a little on uh, shot number three but I've got the scope higher than I want time to lower it back down and uh, try to get it to the two and a half inch mark looks like I have to come down about six clicks but I'm only gonna go four clicks for openers just to make sure it's uh, the scope adjustment not the uh, operator human error failure so four clicks down should bring us down one more inch okay this is getting a little frustrating I felt like I uh, flinched a little on that and it seems like when I'm flinching I'm going right at least that parts consistent but it's hard telling if I flinch down into the right, up into the right, right only. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anybody watching this is going to be laughing out loud. I can't get a consistent uh, bead on anything. I got one more uh, round left in this box. So uh, once again, I'm going to try and relax, try to uh, do a little more focused concentration, and see if I can do a smooth. Uh, squeeze on a tight tightly held rifle and uh, minimize any effects of any flinch and we'll see what happens well at least I was consistent for once I put two bullets in the same uh, quarter inch corner of a screw there I'm not too sure what to make of that I felt like that was a pretty good shot anyway I'm gonna have to let the barrel cool and uh, then we're going to move on over to this guy and just focus on covering the, uh, covering the orange dot and putting three rounds in a group and see uh, where to go from there. I might go ahead and move it one or two clicks left and then uh, take my shot at this guy. Okay, after letting the barrel cool a little bit, I uh, just put one more round down range here at the plate. We'll see how I do on the next one. And uh, probably try a three shot group here using a new box of ammo. And hopefully the three shot group will be halfway uh, in the same area. We'll find out. Okay, there's shot number two, slightly higher and to the left. Not too bad for me, <laughs> considering how often I tend to flinch with this rifle kicking me uh, in the shoulder. But if I can uh, get my brain wrapped around it and try to do good, maybe we'll get a third shot here that's in the right zone. Well, it's not often that I make a decent group and uh, time to let the barrel cool again I'm gonna walk on down there and measure that take a picture of it see uh, how high off dead center it is whether I'm uh, inch looks like I'm more like two and a half I want to be two and a half inches high so I might just be in the ballpark anyway we'll go on down there and measure it Okay, uh, as you can see from the uh, photo I just put here in the uh, video, got a pretty good group and uh, it's pretty much in the ballpark of uh, where I want it to hit uh, above the uh, bullseye at 100 yards here. So, I'm going to click it up one click quarter of an inch more that'll bring it up 
hopefully into the two and a half inch to two and three quarter inch uh, zone which is going to be pretty much on the top edge of the base of that plate the base of that plate is six inches diameter the plate itself is eight and a half inches diameter rim to rim bullseye is one inch in diameter so uh, trying to get it into factory suggested um, hit points here so gonna bring it up one click and uh, put three more rounds down range and hopefully I'll not uh, flinch on any of them and we'll see what happens after that Oh, and by the way, this is what it really looks like from the uh, bench down to the target. For uh, those of you that are just tuning in to uh, my channel here. Um, also, we've got a slight tailwind today, and it's kind of gusty, so the winds come and go. Sometimes it's a tailwind uh, from behind and going downrange and off to the right a little bit. Sometimes it's going downrange and off to the left a little bit, but it should not be affecting, uh, it's not like a strong crosswind, let's just put it that way. If there's any crosswind to it, it's uh, a slight crosswind. Although with the concrete wall and everything, it uh, does tend to generate a little buffeting it's not like trying to shoot a hundred yards indoors with perfect conditions, but uh, it's as good as uh, good as it gets around here in this neck of the woods in the uh, northwest Washington Puget Sound area. So anyway, uh, again we'll be shooting down here 100 yards at the uh, eight and a half inch diameter paper plate with a six inch base. Well, I'm not sure what to make of that three shots. Uh, first one was the low one, the second one was a little higher, and the third one was higher yet. So I think the operator needs to figure out what the operator is doing wrong. Either that or as the barrel heats up it starts crawling up, one or the other. But time to walk down and we'll try to put another paper plate. I put those four marks to help center the crosshairs so I'll go replace this plate and uh, put another one with four marks and see if uh, we get the same sort of results after the barrel cools a little bit. Okay, let the barrel cool and uh, shut the uh, first round here at the new target. I marked it with one and a one inch uh, ticks there. And that one hit right at two and a half inches just a hair above two and a half inches so that's right in the sweet spot hopefully I can do that a couple more times and then we can move down to 200 yards okay we're uh, moving out here to 200 yards and uh, 200 meters it looks like I'm hitting about two and a half inches high at 100 so we'll see what happens here at 200 got the uh, Got the bullseye set up here at 200 up above. I've uh, set up a difficult to see, but kind of wrinkled, wrinkled old and stupid Marxist libtard Democrat. I'll let you guess which one at 200 meters here. I'm only going to probably take one shot at this uh, libtard just uh, for the fun of it, but my first uh, few rounds are going to be at the uh, bullseye to verify the scope settings and everything here at uh, 200 yards. Well, that's confusing and a good way and a bad way, but I uh, put a new target up down there and did two uh, rounds pretty quick after uh, running a patch or two down the barrel to clean it and lo and behold I got a pretty tight little group to the uh, shot three was a total waste I, I knew that I farked up on that one so forget that 
Well, shot four felt more comfortable, but it's kind of like playing a game with Texas Hold'em. Uh, I have a feeling those right two I flinched on a little, because I tend to pull right when I'm pulling the trigger. I'm trying to figure out if uh, I'm holding the trigger with my trigger finger correctly. So anyway, practice makes perfect. I'll throw a couple more down there and see what happens. Looks like four and five were kind of splitting the difference from hitting uh, hitting it in the vertical, so that's good. I just wish I could be more consistent at this longer range. I don't know how the hell I'm ever going to get out to a thousand yards like this. But I guess I'm not going to be trying with my hunting rifle, just my uh, new uh, precision rifle with a 60 power scope instead of 14 power. Anyway, one more shot, then I gotta clean up and get out of here for dinner. Okay, so that's a uh, triangle. We'll measure that. I'm going to move on up here to the Marxist Libtard Democrat again. Get a good hit in the forehead on the last shot by aiming pretty much at those marks on the nose there. So I'm going to try a couple more rounds right at the nose and see where they hit and then I'm out of here.